Are you tired of your headphones, microphone, and frustrated with your teammates yelling at you to get a better mic? Well, I may have the microphone for you. It's called the Mono DGM20, and it's an absolute beast. Starting at the price point of 35 bucks, you can find this microphone on their website or Amazon at a similar price. It comes in free Pacific color options, white, black, and pink. I went with the white model because it goes better with my setup. Now moving on to the unboxing. It's pretty straightforward. You are greeted with the microphone itself and the accessory box. What's included with this microphone is a USB Type-C cable and an adapter to hook it up to a boom arm. You also receive a user manual. With that out of the way, let's get into this review. Starting off with the build quality of the microphone. It's mostly plastic, but it feels nice. Some rubber was added to the bottom of the microphone stand, and it also has a cradle to help reduce the vibration from the desk or the floor movements. It looks nice and it complements the microphone well, and the overall aesthetic is very pleasing. If you direct your attention to the bottom side of the microphone, this is where you find your gain control. It's very simple to see and use. Unlike other microphones I've used in the past, you can also find the audio jack for your microphone located just above the mic gain. Looking at the top side of the microphone, this is where you find the LED switch and mic mute button. They are touch sensitive and work pretty well together. The LED options provide you with plenty of customizations for your setup, or you could choose to turn off the LEDs if you don't like them. They included a LED light on the front side of the microphone that tells you if the mic is active or muted. It turns red when muted. Additionally, they built in a pop filter in the front of the microphone stand. Now that's out of the way, let's move on to how the microphone actually sounds. I'm going to switch over to the Moto DGM20 for this review. And it sounds pretty good. Now I'm going to switch back to my fine fine microphone so you can understand the difference in the audio quality. This is my fine fine microphone and I paid $89 for it. So it's definitely more expensive of a microphone. It's what I've been using in the entire video to record my audio. Now switching back to the DGM20, it's a pretty good microphone. There's one thing I do want to mention, all the cheap microphones that are out there on the market sound pretty good. It's not like 2014 where you'd go buy a microphone and it sounds like complete trash. Today for 30 bucks, you can pick up a fantastic microphone that sounds lovely and I think is a good value for what you actually get. They included plenty of stuff to get you started and the booster audio quality. I would also like to provide you with some audio samples of me playing games with the microphone on my desk so you can hear the kind of noises it picks up in the surrounding area. This will give you an idea of what the audio would sound like when gaming. I will provide that at the end of this video, but let's get into my opinions of this microphone. For 35 bucks, this thing looks and sounds great. Back when I started my YouTube channel, if you could pick up a microphone for 35 bucks that sounds and looks this good, I would be in shock. The build quality, even though it's plastic, is pretty nice. I think this microphone is pretty durable and you would definitely get your use out of it. In my opinion, if you're looking for a microphone in the 30, 60 range, this is honestly a pretty good choice but I'll leave it there and let you decide if you're interested or not. I'll catch you in the next one. That's a nice gun, dude. I haven't, I haven't played CS in a while. I also live right next to a main highway, so there's a lot of traffic, and I'm assume this thing's gonna pick up a lot of the sound because my window's right there. Dang. Nameless popping off. All right, let's let's uh let's attempt to PC. Let's go. Uh, my God, uh, AK. Let's run it. Look at my AK. It's so fire, dude. It's so fire. I haven't played CS in a long time. I'm waiting for CS2 to come out. I don't think I killed this kid. Let's 
gonna chill out. I'm sure this guy is still sitting here. How did I know? He was still sitting there. Dude, uh, <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. That's what happens when you don't play it. Oh, he blitzed me with the shoddy, bro. So, upon opening this box for this microphone, I think it's. I was fantastic. I was quite pleasant with the packaging and what they advertised. Now, they did reach out to me to, you know, to do a review of this microphone. And uh, I asked for the white one, of course, because I thought the white one would look better with my fully black setup. And I think the packaging looks fantastic. Like, this could, you could go to the micro center or something and pick this thing up. It is pretty solid. Uh, the, again, the microphone build quality is great. I, I am playing CS, so I mean, like, this is the best gameplay you're ever going to see of your life, but this is just to experience the microphone and its, it's greatness. I'm going to shut up now and buy a gun. Let's, uh, let's attempt to get a gunfight again and not absolutely get blittered. Yeah, I'll let this guy pick back. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not picking that. That's not my problem anymore. <laughs> Look at all those bullets, dude. Uh, yeah, let's move on.